happy Tuesday year one, I hope you're okay. Okay, today's fairy tale is going to be Jack and the Beanstalk. I hope you enjoy it. I certainly enjoyed yesterday's ugly duckling very much. Oh, let's introduce us to the sounds that we're going to, oh, sorry, the words that we're going to see today. So we've got Jack, Jack's mum, Beanstalk, man, castle, cow, magic beans, gold coins, giant, giant's wife, axe. Ooh. Okay. Once upon a time in a land far away lived Jack and his mum. They were very poor. They had no food and no money. Whatever could they do? All we have left is Bessie, said Jack's mum. You will have to take her to the market and sell her. I think the cow is Bessie. The next day, Jack set off for the market with Bessie. Let me move that back. On the way, he met a strange-looking man. That's a very fine cow, the man said. Will you swap her for these beans? They're magic. <gasps> magic beans, said Jack. What do they do? Just you wait and see, said the man, mysteriously. Jack rushed home. <gasps> Mum, look, he cried. I've swapped Bessie for these beans. They're magic. Beans, said Mum angrily. We need money for food, not silly old beans. And now we have no money and no cow. With a wave of a hand, whoosh, she flung the beans out of the window and then she sent Jack straight to bed. When Jack woke up the next morning, he had a big surprise. <gasps> oh my, he said, I can't believe my eyes. While he'd slept, a giant beanstalk had grown outside his window. It reached up, sorry, it reached way high up, higher than the tree trot. I can't speak. Treetops and up to the sky. Jack rushed outside. I'm going to climb this beanstalk, he cried. Up and up he went. Up past the rooftops, past the treetops and past the clouds. At last he reached the very top and there he found a castle. He knocked at the door. With a creak and a crack, the door slowly opened. A woman stared at Jack. Yes, she said. I'm so hungry, said Jack. May I have some food? All right, said the woman, but my husband will be home soon. He is a giant and he eats little boys. And then the giant did come home. Hide, said the woman, pushing Jack into a cupboard. Peeping through a crack in the door, Jack saw the giant take out a stack of gold coins. He started to count them. One, two, three. So much gold, Jack said to himself. As the giant counted, his eyes began to close. When the giant was asleep, Jack crept out and climbed onto the table. One, two... Jack took as many gold coins as he could carry and then ran away. But then, the giant woke up. The clinking and the clanking of the coins had disturbed his sleep. Fee, fi, fo, fum, he shouted. I will catch you, here I come. Stomp, stomp, stomp. His big feet thundered as he ran after Jack. But Jack was too fast for him. The clumsy giant could not catch up. Jack scrambled down the beanstalk, zippity-zip. Mum, he cried, bring the axe. Jack's mum chopped down the beanstalk, thwackity-thwack. So the giant could never climb down. Jack and his mum were safe. The giant was gone and they had enough gold to last all their lives and to live happily ever after. Goodness me. Look at the twisting, winding beanstalk. Which way should Jack climb to arrive at the fabulous feast? Pause it here for me. You can have a go at working out the, the mains. See which way Jack could get to the feast. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.